but uh, at this point, Smart has left the building in its endurance now. Struggling again with brakes. These came as a unit yesterday. I took that part off, but I'm missing these bolts on one set. I have a set right here. I have a set right there. This is kind of a blessing in disguise because this whole seal goes through there and I'm having trouble. We were working on it yesterday with a hammer and some lube, but all this hardware is stripped out. So in a moment, but it came with the springs just not the bolts and they seem to be special so I'm gonna cut these nuts off the back right here Johnny with my cutting torch here and here then we'll hammer these bolts out or cut them or whatever get this unit off and then over on the table we'll try to work on getting these two these two bolts out and get our brake pads in I didn't want to spend this much money and screw around and if you guys know how much one ton truck stuff costs You'll see, but on the other hand, I didn't want to go around with a sketchy, you know, brakes to me are important. I think they should work. I mean, if the engine dies, the engine dies, you know, but without brakes, it's, you know, the traffic around here and the highways, you just can't take a risk on it. The truck's already 50 years old and everybody else has got fabulous anti-lock brakes and you're already driving around on things that are, you know, 50 years old. So make them the best you can. That's my advice. The truck may not go fast, but at least it should stop as safely as it could. And for another $150, that seems insane. So let's get cutting here. Hopefully, I, hopefully I'm not destroying parts I need, but I'm destroying parts I don't need to get to the parts I do need. Yeah. So it seems like the wind's picked up, so hopefully it's not too windy for you. And if it is, hey, put it on here. You know, go feed the dog, walk the cat, whatever. Come back when we're done. Oh yeah, we're still here. Now you took a look at that. And this is where the truck gets burned to the ground. When you go in the house, John. Your brakes off with a cutting torch. Turn the wheel the other way, John. Right. Yeah, let's get a chisel and a hammer and wail on that till our arms are numb. And try to avoid try to avoid the rain. It's currently raining. Try to avoid more rain. Get back to you when we get a hammer in our hand. Oh, that sticks real good. Yeah. It's working. Is it? Oh yeah. Hey, we're gonna be winners, John. Winners. will get stuck part way in. So. Uh, I caramba. Well, I don't think that's a patented name, is it? I caramba. I don't know. It looks like you're out now. Okay, winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
turns a lot easier, but not all that hooey on there. Oh, without brakes, the thing just rolls? Yeah. That's what it'd be like if you don't have any brakes, John. Turn the wheel the other direction, please. That's your job. Left and righty, left and righty, left and righty. Slalom course, up, down, around the mountain. You know, we grease that. It'd probably be a lot easier to grease. I mean, a lot easier to turn, too. Yeah. I don't think this truck would be very good for a slalom course. Oh, come on. Tanya's no good for slalom. No, I don't think it would be. Well, let me start down here. quote give me a uh, biggest enough lever I can move the world give me a Thor and I can I can get you a bigger hammer oh no, that's okay I'm tired already I should let you be camera I mean let you be the beater and I'll be the camera boy no, that's okay I think that one will come out easy you think so yeah I've been wrong before. If I was to use my gun with the air compressor, I'd probably be done already. Yeah. It has a big white, you know, it's tapered, but it has a big white punch on the end of the tubes. So it gets stuck almost immediately. Yeah. Alright. It's working. It's just, you see, I was right handed over there. Now I gotta be left handed here. Uh -huh. And I'm not, I'm not. I'm not left-handed. You know, I need a left-handed mechanic. script likes to move around on the antique file and punch. Weird. This was a new hammer. I only bought it 30 years ago. Shoot, my aim is terrible. Here, see if you can hold that like that. And do the camera in so I can two-hand this. Oh, you're not helpful. I don't want to smash you. You're too young to go around without fingers. Yeah. You ain't going nowhere in that thing tonight. We might be able to if we uh, keep working on so it. Somehow we gotta salvage those rusty, destroyed bolts. So you wanna go to the store and buy two new bolts? Well, but you see, they got a weird, they got a weird sleeve on them. Maybe they're just a standard. Well, let's bolt. go look at the other one. Maybe we should take one of these apart because we got. Well, you only need one bolt on the brake pads. Oh, got good brakes on, see. Yeah. Feeling those aren't going to come apart easy. I agree with you. When it turns to liquid, it they always come apart. But I think it's a standard bolt with a sleeve over it. I think it's got a sleeve on there. Well, I think it has. You think that's the bolt? Because then it would have to come out this way. Which is our most? God, they all look like crap. Let's go. Let's go over to the new part. Yeah, the one with bolts. Bring the complete one. Let's take one of those bolts out. All right, put it on pause. I'll go get tools. It's a funny story, John. I 
went digging through to find this 916 and it was the wrong one. But I had to dig through all these five eights to find this one nine sixteenths. It turned out I needed a 5 8 anyway. I think you need a 9 16 on the other end, so you Oh, can really? Do you think so? <sighs> I remember them being two different sizes. Yeah, I didn't want to bring the impact gun out because I'm trying to save this. You're trying not to make a round pull? What the hell? Maybe it's lefty. Who's the guy that put this together? Relax, dude. You know someone's going to take it apart. Well, they hired a silverback gorilla. Yeah, King Kong working on it. Saved the money. All right, um, so that just went on there and there. Mm -hmm. Nope, special bolt. See, that's well, a big shanked bolt. That's unfortunate because uh, those other ones, I don't think are gonna come off. Well, there's a chance. Well, you got the wrenches. There's a chance if we heat this nut up and I destroy the nut, that nut doesn't look too it's just a nylock, right? So well, I don't think these ones were nylock. So let's um no, but there are locking now. If I heat that up and I can turn it out. Well let's burn the plastic table down and get some spray too. So I love the other YouTube channels that say, hey why we were at the brake, we went ahead and fixed the brakes. That's like a six hour job for this truck. And they work when we start. Now, if we had had all the parts we needed, John, we would be on our way. Well, I find it surprising that one part came with the parts and the other. Well, and that guy says, usually these don't come with these brackets. And I said, that's what I figured. That's why I was just going to reuse mine. But now that we have new parts, I'd rather, you know, clean out that bore in there and lube it up. Right, which are these sleeves right here. Oh. So we'll hammer all that jazz out. Now do I just go ahead and try it? Or do I go ahead and I heat start it? with trying heat. It. Heating it. We we didn't even bring the PB blaster out. Oh we'll get the PB blaster. Mm. I'll just set this up right here. Yeah. Was it running? Yeah, it's running. You ain't going nowhere in this truck, too. Now. Well, let me try heat on. That's a waste. Right, come on. In theory, the nut will expand, John, when it gets hot. Is that the theory? Yeah, if I don't burn the table down or screw up the thread. Yeah? She's red. That's a good one. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. Now, where do I put this to melt into the table? On your acetylene. I'll just put it right here. Why don't you just put it on the ground? We don't need that. Well, we might. We don't need it. I like the way you think. <laughs> it didn't come with parts. <laughs> what? I thought you were going to get nylock nuts for it. Yeah. Maybe I'll just peen the thread over and let the next guy deal with it. What if you're the next guy? No, there's no way. I don't keep stuff for fun. Speaking of which, Look in the description and you can g email us, gmail us, it's just enough to ride. Mariana will answer your ad, so if you, you want to own some of this junk, I really do need to do something. And I'll sell it to whatever, I mean, I'll find somebody. Also, I'm sure it's hard to uh, sell stuff to people when you call it junk. They know what I mean. They've seen the show, John. I can't, I can't lie to the people and say this is good quality merchandise. Oh, we didn't, we weren't prepped. We didn't need to be. I didn't need to be. Now, is the back going to turn? Oh, it's melting the table. Check that out. There's your Loctite, John. Oh, good. I was worried our table didn't have enough holes. 
smells like birthday candles. Yeah, why does this table smell like birthday candles? <laughs> We've never used it for such purposes. A little patience went a long way on this job. Are you sure about that? Not quite, but I'm working on it. On patience or this job? Yes. I've been told I don't have enough patience, but I think that's when it comes to people. They seem to identify better with machinery. Do you have enough garage? I have just enough. <sighs> Come on, just put more effort in. What if I use my whaler to... To whale it? Yeah, yeah. You want me bend over like an old man, were you? Yeah, I did. Uh, Mary, edit that part. I don't want to look stupider. Hold on there. Probably screwing the end of that up. I'll probably. Fine, I'll put on my glove. <laughs> I'll hold the hot part. I'll grab onto it where it's hot. All right, I'll take some of that now. I'm sure it would have uh, been helpful earlier. Is it ever too late? Ah, uh, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Consider it too late. I'm just trying to avoid putting it on the pads. All right, it'll evaporate by the time we get this done. Uh, yeah, that made a difference. We'll wire wheel those. Well, good thing we have a wire wheel somewhere. Yeah. All right. Whoa, she's seized up, this one. Weird, it's like they're uh, 50 years old. They're shinier than I expected. That's because I did all that pressure washing the other day. Well, yeah, but like I'd imagine these be uh, super rusty like mm -hmm. that one is. Probably got some kind of alloy in them. Because they, they're not a standard to go to the hardware store bolt. I'm sure that if you uh, found the right hardware store, you'd get one of those. Yeah, it would have been in Dearborn, Michigan in 1974. For now, would the smart guy go get new pads? No. Look at how good those are. Well, yeah, they're good, but also you're putting other new parts on here. Which, uh, should I, I should put these on first and then do that bolt and drop those brakes in when I know where I'm at. You put the pad on, put the little spring in its holes. I think. Yeah. And then uh, you just... Because i got to get this part off so that it can go to the store as a core. The store, the store doesn't need you to remove those. Now, make that not look like somebody used a cutting torch, huh? Maybe the kid won't open the box. You guys ever had that before where you take something and it's wow like this and you're like, gee, I hope he doesn't look in the box. I would sure hate to lose 15 bucks. Oh no, 15 whole dollars. Oh, this side I did a real nice job with the cut. There I got a little bit of... A little bit torch happy? Well, it's probably at the bottom. Fixed it. <laughs> Take that. Well, really, they should be glad to get any of this stuff back in any condition, being how it's 50 years old. Oh wait, they're making this stuff in China. It don't matter. They're going to melt it down. What? Well, but this has got the... Uh... Well, I had the casting on the other one. In the Dayton part? Yeah, it said Dayton on yeah, it. Yeah, this is a, right here. The other one says Dayton on it, and it, ha it doesn't have all the pieces. Oh, that sucker is tight. This one might come out. I'll just hammer it back into position then. Oh, I just gotta heat it up. Now, in this case, I wanna have the housing expand. So I want to concentrate on that, not the, uh... Yeah, I concentrate on the bolt so it doesn't this, come out. This is cast steel. So, it doesn't heat up. No, no, you can weld this junk. It's not as good. You need to get the heat right, and you need to pin it with a hammer and all kinds of stuff. Yeah? You want to, you know bury it in sand or something when you're done probably to let it cool slowly over a couple of hours. Throw it on a barbecue, get it all warmed up, something like that. Yeah, throw it in a nice bath. And then it'll just crack next to the weld anyways.
trying to keep it from getting red too much in one place. You can see where the torch is going, how it gets red. Today's a pretty cold day. If I was faster, I'd have my vice grip on there and I'd be pulling and you'd see impressiveness. Wow, I'm so impressed. Yeah, I wasn't fast enough. Yeah. Uh, let me go get my impact gun and zip it out of there. Zippity doo da. You know, the other day I said it would cost 2,000 bucks to get this truck fixed. I think that would be an underestimate. I think it would be more than that. What makes you say that? Oh, nobody's going to do this. Oh, you don't, you don't want the hot things on your uh, table making candle smell again? <laughs> There's one good core, you know? And I preheat treated it for the next guy. That's not the whole core. No, that's uh, what, well, that's one half now. Let's see if these will just come right out of there now that I got power tools. These look better. Oh, how's that socket come off, John? Uh, because we have uh, used the impact gun quite a bit. Try this again. I need somebody to push on that. That's not me. Let me use the truck for my advantage. Ah, oh, what do you use your flatbed for? It's a workbench. Pushing bolts out. Just try pulling it out with your hand. There it is. Uh, yeah, maybe. Alright. Get those cursed things out of here now. We ready to do the same thing with this one. Because I have to, uh, to save it. take those apart anyways. I could just blast them. But what if? What if you break one of those two? Yeah. Well, let's put the wire brush on here. And maybe the people will see this part. Maybe they won't. Maybe Mary will say, Dad, it's all the same. They don't care. Mm, is okay. That, is that how things go? You think it'll come right out of there? or? There's only one way to find out. I think I'm going to try your... Lube right at that joint here and here. I'll make sure you get the brake pads. I'm trying not to. I only got this on setting two, so it shouldn't strip it out. Ooh, that's a win. So far. Yeah. See now that nut's a good nut. <laughs> You just, you just jumped it back in there. No, it's right here. Huh. It looks like it hopped yeah. back. Yeah, being 20 when you know everything. It just looked like it hopped back. All right, that's uh, stuck on there. Now do I jam it to setting three or do I try to heat it? It's already starting to roll the nut. Well, if it's starting to roll the nut, I think you should set it to setting three so it's broken. Do I finish it off? Yeah. Of using my years of experience. Well, you know, you're talking to an 18 year old who knows everything. Well, that's right, your birthday is for another couple of weeks. Yeah. You can hear the dip in that oil at the moment. You can see it uh, being a little red hot. Indiana Jones myself there. What did Indiana Jones do? Oh, that guy in the fire, he grabs the medallion and he's... Uh, I oh, that's a hot one. I better put him over here. Yeah, put it on the table so that... Uh, You'll always have an imprint of what it is. 
Yeah, we don't make pies and put them on the cooling rack. We put nuts on the cooling rack. Keep shoving that straw in there, the straw will evaporate. <laughs> Man, I thought we would be done already. We just get these new parts, put them on the truck, bleed it out. But you didn't buy a brake pad, so how did you not? I thought I'd just cut those bolts. I don't know, John. Shoot, I'm learning everything every day, too. You think adults are smart? No. I'm an adult. Hire a teenager while they still know everything? Well, the law says you are, but you ain't. You ain't you ain't an adult till you pay bills every day. And about you, you pay bills every single day. Oh yeah, there's stuff you see you don't want it all at once. You want it to come out through the month. Because otherwise you got Yeah, every time there's a paycheck, there ain't nothing left over, dude. Yeah. Maybe I should start charging people. Hey, need brakes? Two thousand bucks. Head gaskets are two or three thousand, anyways. Hey, you know you could run your own little shop. Nah, I ain't doing that. I don't have the customer uh, service. Well, you get Courtney to do that. Well, the police. Hello, how are yous? Yeah, Courtney can do that. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, almost. You ain't going nowhere in that, did I? Okay. You think that's the same piece? Like oh, they, yeah. Like they cast that and then they just put it on upside down? Uh-huh, this part's the same piece, too. They just put the bleed on one side or the other? Uh-huh. I bet you if you took that banjo ball out, the bleeder out, and put them on so the other why side. why would they call it left and right? Now, what do we got down here? We got an this machine out, too. Yeah, that uh, that rusty thing in there needs to come out. Or you can run a drill bit in there, clean it up a little bit, and then just not use the new one. Mm -hmm. So you screw up one side, learn your lesson. Is that what you're telling me? So let's uh, let me get a socket. We'll disassemble all this. So stand by. This one here. Who is it? Yeah, it's nobody. Put that there, with that there. Put that there and that there. I like how you put your hands where the impact guns. I thought I was stronger than that, John. Oh, you're stronger than the tool? Yes, I thought I was. The so, tool that can break steel. So now that thing slides. But then this thing doesn't. Why is this? It's just a piece of rubber that's stuck on there. Who designed this thing? Somebody at Ford. Right now, I like kind of the GM brakes over this, or the International. Well, they put a bunch of wax or glue or something on there. Yeah, it's probably grease. Feels like it. Huh. But how come that doesn't? Do I have to just hammer on it? Cause those two move. Mm -hmm. Pull it. I'm trying. It's silly. Yeah, that ain't moving. Well, you got a couple choices. This pair, I like them. Oh, oh, I see it screws that piece up while you try to take this piece apart. Uh -huh. Brilliant, guys. Just brilliant. Ah. 
Take your chisels, just hammer on it. I'm going to do better than that. What are you getting? Suzuki brand motorcycle pliers. You can see the S on them. Wow. I'm getting this 1970s Craftsman screwdriver. How do you know it's from the 70s? I don't know when it else it would be. I'm going to try to hold that without crushing it. Oh, it's rotating. It's oh, doing its thing. It's magic. Thank you, Japan. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's magic. That's from the 70s. Yeah, I figured it worked with everything else we're, we got from the 70s here. I'm from the 70s. I'm as old as this truck. Aren't you a year older than the truck? No, oh, it's not split hairs. This was made in June, and I was made in May of 70s. No, you were completed in May. Come here. What's that say right there? Is that a two or is that a seven to seventy-three? I can't see. Oh, I can, and it says seven. Yeah, I can it's see. It's July it. of seventy-three. I was already born. Yeah, so you're older than the truck. Got it. Got it. Now we got that straightened out. What the hell? Those nuts fit that. Oh no, wait, these are all the same, okay. Oh, I like how you're not using the vice grips you used on the last one. Yeah, I know. I got it though, I got it. No, I don't know. This one's for some reason is getting sticky. Oh, weird new rubber. It's sticky to the parts it's stuck to. You're oh, what are you gonna do with that? You're killing me, John. How am I killing you? I just wish I was as smart as you. Uh, no, you don't. I'm only smart in some ways. Yeah, well, I'm waiting to see him. I am too. So do this. Make sure you grease the rotor and brakes. Yeah, what you want to do is set this stuff right down in the mud and dirt. Where's the where's the dirtiest place that I can walk on it? Right, Stomp right it. underneath the Yeah, so when I hit the truck all the mud goes in. Yeah, so right now, underneath the wheel. How do we get that out of there? You take your hammer and you hammer it. So it should in theory come this way because this would be this piece right here, right? Yeah, that's what it looks like. So then turn the wheel the other way and I'll find me a whaler and we'll whale that out of there. Alright. What if I put some lube in there? Do you think that would help get it out? Get what out? No, probably not. I guess you could take a drill bit that's bigger than, uh, that's bigger than this, but smaller than that and then it's you know what I mean? I was thinking you just get a drill bit that uh, is about the same size as one of them bolts. Yeah. And then you just run it through there and boom, it's clean and smooth. That's probably a mechanic hat. Look at this. <laughs> That's the mechanic's version of dance. Sucker dance. You trying to hit my steel toe boots? They're composite toe. Oh, they're plastic. Nice. Yeah. Alright. This is going to work first time, no problem. Well, it looks like it didn't work, no problem. If I ever finish this truck, you know it's going to be nice. Now, the second you fix these brakes, we'll have another issue. Yeah, the motor will blow up. One of the steel lines will give up. Oh, yeah. Well, let's put a little hot on that. Well, ever since you got SL and you're like, yeah, let's just uh, yeah, let's heat everything. Think, why do you think it was empty? Ah, uh, yeah, set your lines on fire.
hard to see. It's so bright. Yeah, I guess it's not supposed to be good for your eyes to look at. <laughs> Give me those green goggles, man. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of neat. You just get it going, and then the and then the, and the rubber keeps it warm for you. No, oh, I thought it was the spray you put in there. Oh wow, that stinks. It does stink. Look at all that grease and rubber burned up. Kyle, do you have an acetylene torch? Yeah. There's a couple of tools you're going to need. One's a hammer. Now, if I do this just right, that stuff could pop in my face. Yeah. I know that my Wayland device is very good. This stuff was coming out. Look at that screwdriver. Let's try that. This thing's got a weird tip on it. Somebody mashed it all over. Oh, weird. It's like you hammer on it or something. Yeah. yeah it's not acting right. Up, it cooled off. It's not soft anymore. I'm just trying to hammer it out because I saw it moving in there. I know. It's going to move a lot easier. Come around here and put it in the vice grip. Why are you trying to hammer it into the... Oh, I've rolled that edge in. Because I can't hammer it this way because it hits the frame. Mm. Why wouldn't it just release and come out of there? It doesn't like you. You're hitting it with a hammer after all. Now at least it's stuck in there. Okay, I'm gonna get my get my air powered driver. Let's see what we got for a. And I get that thing hot enough, it's gotta come out of there. Let's try to cool it off. My mind. Okay, so <laughs> this is the quit. We give up. We're frustrated. So you see how thin that is right there? That is one of the pieces of this, right? The old one. I was able to get it out of the upper one. I wasn't able to get it out of the bottom one. I was able to get this one chewed back enough here that this rubber will fit in. But I got some boogers in there still. This one I haven't been able to get out. We discovered that the best way to do it is to drill in we got pretty close then the drill the drill quit on us it's the quitter but that didn't matter um, this sleeve is is caught in there and what you're seeing is the front of that sleeve right there so I have to get this thing out 
So I did some figuring and some measuring. I need so half inch plus 40 thousandths. So that would be 0.540, 540 thousandths. That's what I need. So I have to go find a drill that will fit 540 thousandths. This one I know is only half inch. Put it in there, you see the difference? Bring it down, it's a half inch, 0 0.50. Oh. So uh, I guess I'm licked for today. I don't, I don't have a drill. I'm gonna have to get a drill. Uh, anyways, I got my core parts. We'll take them back to the store. We'll put the rest of this junk in there. Uh, the heating and all that didn't seem to do it. The air hammer didn't seem to do it. The chisels didn't seem to do it. This one I've kind of got screwed up to the point where there's, you can see in there that there's still part of that old whatever in there. And uh, it, yeah, I could hammer that in, but then it's going to collapse on that. Then the bolt, this is the shouldered bolt. This has to, this is your action for your brakes. So this has to be right. This needs to be able to slide in there like that as the brakes action. If this gets bound up and hammered in there, you put on the brakes once with the hydraulic pressure, they won't release. The brakes will drag. You just got yourself a mess. So at this point, normally I'd be like, yeah, let's power through. Let's try to finish. I need to stop, get the right tools. And then I should be able to put it all together and make it work. Uh, as for getting this piece out up front here, I can feel the lip on it. And once I drill out the rest of it, I might be able to come around from the back and hammer that out. I haven't been able to get that thing to pop out. Well, you can show me, John. You can show you what's going on here. We'll put the light on. I mean, we're just about... Okay, so see up in here? You see that recess right here? You see that? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Ooh, focus, focus. Anyways, you see down here, I don't have that out yet. I'm oh, not, yeah. So, what I've been trying to do is get this to pop free. Mm. Try this guy. You see what it's doing there? I'm just not, I'm just not finding the winning combination to get that out. And then like I say, the other part of that sleeve is still in there. See, there's part of that, that deal. And this is what's frustrating me is, I mean, maybe a smart guy would have left all that in there and just put his new bolt through and greased it up. But uh, at this point, Smart has left the building in its endurance now. Let's see, maybe I'll have to take a, that other chisel, John. And uh, try to whale the side in to get it to separate. Yeah. That's where I was putting the heat, and I got the one out. But Anyways, you guys can see the battle. But even if I get the seal out, which is great that these things, once they're full of grease, their mud and stuff doesn't get in there. That's great, but um, I still got to get the sleeve out of it. So I'm just going to drill it out to the size I need. Get, I'm going to have to go to town and buy a drill bit. Something like that. And then this one here, I'm going to have to true it up because I got a booger in there when I was... I mean, it's... A great idea till it's not. Uh, that's, a, that's the forger's problem. You try to forge it with fire, <laughs> with fire. sometimes it bites you. And eh, you know, anyways, so I thought I could push that sleeve out by hooking the edge like this and doing that. I couldn't. I guess it's been in there too long, John. Anyways. We're gonna call it quits. I think the drill bit's gonna solve my problem on both sides. I still have the other side to do. So like, comment, subscribe. Sorry, it's been boring, I didn't finish. Well, you know, this is kind of a long haul build apparently. Um, if you don't like this, put it in the comments. I'll switch over to a Subaru engine and be done in like two hours and be on our way. Anyways, uh, we got good things planned for the spring. 
Uh, my wife and I are thinking of taking a little road trip. We're not sure what car we go in yet. Uh, it's definitely not going to be that. It's definitely not this. It's what? definitely not the 53 Ford. Well, you're not going to take this big green truck? No, but uh, I'm on the fence about taking my Capri to Southern California and back. But since nobody will watch the video before with 500 miles. Hey, it made it to Utah before. Yeah, that was 25 years ago. You're telling yeah. me the car is worse now than when it was before. No, I think it's probably better. Yeah, that was 29 years ago. I think I drove it to Utah once. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, Mary, you can do something with this stuff. Sorry. Talk to you later. Tell us your thoughts. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next week.